Saint Louis, so I had to write mine down. <laughs> uh, uh, good evening, everybody. Thanks for sharing the, uh, this fine day with us. It's actually beautiful today. Can't, uh, can't be too upset about that. And uh, for General Tuto, it's an honor receiving the uh, receiving this award, the correction, this decoration from him. Uh, I really appreciate his being here. I, I, a little piece of trivia, I got my first tank ride sitting in his lap when I was about two or three years old. <laughs> my father ground got him, so it means a lot for you to be here, sir. Thanks a lot. Uh, and then also I'd like to thank uh, my fellow warriors over to my left that actually broke out their uniforms on a day off, although some of y'all had drilled today, I guess. But uh, for putting it on and coming out and supporting me, it's really special for me. As Major Ben Convoy explained, this award has a really long and distinguished history, but it's, it's the decoration that no one endeavors to earn. Uh, but by its nature, it's really one of the most revered. So I feel very humbled to be receiving the Purple Heart today. While we're here, I also ask that you honor First Lieutenant Joe Thiner, Staff Sergeant Christopher Cabacoy, Special Stedwin Wood, Sergeant Donald Edgerton, and lastly, Sergeant Jesse Ainsworth, whose memorial bracelet I proudly wear on my wrist. Each of these men are also Purple Heart recipients, and they're all members of my unit that were killed in action in Afghanistan uh, between June and July. Um, and, and that's the, ol the only guys we've actually lost to date, luckily. And then I'd also like to remind everybody that I'm not the only Purple Heart recipient in attendance today. Whether it's the formation to my left, the crowd to my right and front, I know there's many more out there, and I ask that you also honor these proud warriors that have actually faced the enemies of our nation, and they bear permanent physical scars and, de and reminders of their time in battle. To the Hibernian family, your prayers and encouragement were essential to my recovery. I had a lot of people pulling for me, I appreciate that. Uh, and then thanks to my family, especially those attendants, most, most of whom are veterans, or served their country in other ways, for being so supportive. And lastly, thanks to Shelly and Colin and Madison, my parents, my in-laws, uh, they were so strong throughout this whole thing. I, I think they're, they're truly the unsung hero, heroes when something like this happens. Because uh, for those of us that are in the hospital, we kind of know what's going on. There's a lot of discovery learning for the families. So thank you once again for attending, and uh, I'm going to pass it off to Kevin.